Today, there are 17 women leading their countries, and I'm looking to them to redefine what women can do as the single most important powerful leader in their country. Currently, there's a woman leading Chile. She's a pediatrician, she was a mother, she's an extraordinary woman. And the, one of the first things she did as president is she made a decision that everyone said to her, you'll never get reelected doing this. And she said, I didn't take this job to get reelected. I took this job to save the lives of women and children in my country. And she put a particular pill on the market that will do just that, save the lives of women and children in her country. Liberia, the first woman democratically elected in Africa, the very first thing she does is she says, the women elected me, and they did. The market women went door to door saying, vote for President Ellen. So what does she do first? She gives that money back. She focuses on improving the lives, building schools for their children, making their lives better. Now, that, those are just two small examples of women taking power and using it differently. If we celebrate those kind of examples and we look around the world, we'll find them. In this country, it's been more difficult because, it, in many ways, because of the media. Media has polarized this issue about power, defined it in images having to do with negative definitions of power when associated with the woman, positive when associated with the man. So media can change that too, but it will only change it when women and enlightened men demand it.